So now when we click through to an individual film, for example, the Incredibles, we want to essentially get the relevant data for this. So this is slash 13. So if I go into here and type slash 13, we should get this information here. We have an error. So I'm just going to export the default function on here. So it's going to be export default function or movie information and I'll save. So we now have the relevant information on this page. What we need to do is fetch the data for all of the ID paths that we have on here. So essentially we want to find out how many IDs there are within the API. We only want to stop until we reach the last ID. So we will do this with get static paths and get static props. So if we go into here, we have access to get static paths, which gets the amount of paths on here that we need. So essentially we want to get the amount of IDs we have within the APIs and this generates posts one, two, and so on. And then we want to also get static paths, which requires get static props. So essentially what get static paths is, is when you export a function called get static paths, static site generation from a page that uses dynamic routes. So in this case, we are using a wildcard ID. So slash movies slash the ID number. Next.js will statically pre-render all the paths specified by get static paths. So essentially we will specify the ID's length. And then if we go into get static props, Next.js will pre-render page at build time using the props returned by get static props. You can read up more about this on the docs here. So th these are the two sections to read up upon. So we will get started on the movie information page. So first off, I want to get all of the paths from the slash movies API. So this API over here where it has the entire list of all the movies. So export const get static paths. And we also want to get the static paths type from next here, as you can see, which is equal to an async function, which has a callback in here. And we want to get a response so const res is equal to so await fetch the data from local host slash api slash movies and then the movie data so const movie data is equal to await response dot json like so so now we want to define the um, paths or the length of ids that we have on here so const paths is equal to the movie data that we have just received dot map so for each movie we want to return an object and this object will be params and in the params we want to have a key value pair so we will destructure an id property which is equal to movie dot id but because this movie dot id is a number we want to convert it into a string so if we wrap it around in a string like so. We now have the params.id here stated. And just finally, we want to return the paths that we have just declared above. And we want to give it a fallback of false. And to see what a fallback of false is, if we just search for a fallback of false, and if a fallback is false, then any path not returned by get static paths will result in a 404 page. So for example, anything after the ID of 19, so anything after slash 20 would result in a 404 page. We also have a type error here. So movie it implicitly has any type. So all I'm going to do here is import the movie type from the types file, movie list type like so. And this is going to be an object. So now we have the path set. We now need to fetch the props. So if I just copy this, and this is going to be get static props this time instead of paths. And we are going to get the props and not the paths from next. And within here, we will now have access to the context object. So if I pass in the context like so, and then in here, I want to destructure the ID from context.params. So const ID is equal to context params now if i save property id does not exist on type post url query so 
I'm going to declare an interface for this. So interface of I params extends the past URL query from query string, as you can see here. And in here, we're going to define the ID as a string. So all we now need to do is context.params as the I params. So now we have destructured the ID from the context.params that we have set up in the get static path section up here. And now I want to pass the movie results down as a prop. So const movie result is equal to await fetch. And this time we're going to give template literals. So what we want to fetch is this here. So localhost 3000 slash API slash movies. And this is going to be a dynamic value. So we are now going to pass in the ID here. And then we're going to chain a dot pen, which gives a response. And we're going to convert the response to JSON. And then the final thing is to return the props. So props. And in here, we just want to pass down the movie result. And as a second argument, we are also going to revalidate as 100, which means that the pages will be statically generated at build time only. And then after that, we can choose to revalidate the pages. So recheck the pages every 100 seconds. If you wanted to do it more, then we can do so. I may just do a thousand on here. Now, all that is left to do is pass the movie results down into the props. So movie results. And we also need to add this into the interface. And again, this will be the movie list type that we have already imported in here. And before I return the movie information text, I want to console log movie results from the ID page. Now, if I save all and inspect my page, in my console, I have undefined of ID page. If I just refresh again, it is building now. So it's building the cache of the data. And now, as you can see here, we have the slash 13 and we have the relevant data for this page. So if I go on to forward slash six, for example, we now have the relevant ID for the slash six ID as well. So now all that is left to do is create the page. So the movie information page, but what I'm going to do is create a component called film layout, similar to what we did with the home layout as well.